take a moment to talk about reflexes. A lot of people think that reflexes is a flight or flight. And I get it. If someone came through my door right now and said, boo, yes, I might respond to something like that as a reflex. But reflex is also intelligence. When you have flight or flight, you have an intelligence of the system. What people don't evaluate, I believe, properly is first of all the vision in regards to it because the, with the abnormal visions takes away the abnormal neutralness of it. But true, what you look at as a reflex, let's say a moro, something as simple as that. What is actually is, is in the womb, I'm growing like this. I'm in a frictionless environment and my body is meant to expand in all directions until I get too big and in nine months I get pushed out. From that is the first time that you are feeling gravity. Now, most people think gravity is a fall, right? That's what Newton presents and everybody's been studying falling ever since. But in general, thanks to people like Mr. Norris, you know that falling doesn't happen. I'm here, I am capable of falling, I don't fall down. So with Moro, something like that, what it actually is, this is the first time your bones are pushing up against gravity. It's 14.7 PSI, gravity is all around us, it's not just on the floor. So as I start moving my little fingers, right, there's a momentum. It is not open close, right? Palmer and Planter looked at differently. If you want to see that more, go to my presentation on infant developmental movement patterns where I start talking about this. But when I go to tomorrow, this is the first time all my extremities are going away from the pelvis and then back again. A true moro is it almost, it almost looks like a stretch in that sense, but they can still interact with you and go out and do this. Now, when you see a truly is a startle or a spasm different than, you know, what people look at as infantile spasms, that's not a moro. Why? Because it's not setting up your core movement transfer. Pelvis is the only region where movements can come down and it can come up. Right? And again, you see this really in karate and this is where I like fighting and so forth because you have to be able to come up and down and control this. So I have a stand, but at the same time I have an active leg, which is a kick, right? And that's just one of the many examples. So when you're dealing with a moro, that's what there actually is, is your child's pushing against gravity. That's why I don't believe breathing is a reflex because A, breathing can be manipulated, but it is again, your intercostal muscles, as well as your rib cage, your spine, breathing and against in. And I still present that if you do not set up that establishment of gravity and breath in a horizontal manner at birth, you will have difficulties going into vertical milestones. Because if you can't handle gravity and breathing, you're not gonna have to handle gravity and movement. And that's when you know ahead of time that you have to be involved in your child earlier with movement lesson or another modality to get the help that they need. So that's how I look at reflexes. It's, an, it's just setting up gravity and going in. If you look at all of these kind of things, STNR is really a pubic bone strike, going into all of that, freeing up the hands. Kids don't plank. It's not about head control, you know, and muscles. It's all about interacting with gravity and that creates a force within our beings and that's how we move. Thanks.